This is kindness and this is mercy. And all that we've gone for. What is presence in this world? <laughs> Most gracious and wise Father, we thank you for this opportunity to commune with you must be in prayer. Thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your tender mercy, and all your bountiful and wondrous blessings. You have stored upon us, and even what you are yet to do, we thank you. God, I pray that you'll bless each one that's here and on their way. God, bless them in a mighty and an abundant way. God, move by your mighty hand and your mighty power to bless this your people, God. Bless this worst experience, God, in everything you have said to bring you honor and bring you glory. Have your way, God, in this worst experience, God. That we be the same mind, the same spirit. We cast out every hindering spirit, every spirit that will hinder the move of your own, God. Oh, God, move mighty enough, this God. Touch hearts, touch minds in this worst experience, God. Oh, God, bless those who are going through, God. Lift the burden and lift the load, God. Oh, God, those bereaved things, God, give comfort, give strength, God. You reach what no can reach, and you touch what no can touch, God. God, you do as only you can do, God. In Jesus' name we pray, God. Come in, God, and bless us mightily, and bless us abundantly, God. With your mighty hand, we need you, God. 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 We're going through, God. We need you, God. We need your help, God. We need your strength, God. We need your deliverance, God. Oh, God, we need you, God. In the name of the God, move God, move God, move God, move God, right in my hand, move God 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 in my hand, move these blessings we ask in Jesus' mighty Lord's name we pray and we thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you.
Ask your prayers for the walk of family. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless them and yes, yes. hold them up. Yes, yes. Give them strength yes. as they go through this time of bereavement. So we ask your prayer yes. for them. I won't be before you long. I'll be there as long as God says. Yes. 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 I'll be saying 10 to 15 minutes ago. Yes. 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 Marcus, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I want to invite you to a very familiar passage of scripture, and I need your brethren because I'm going to be all over this book. I want to go to the book of Job, chapter one. Very familiar. Just, I'm going to say, if I go this was a refresher course. Uh, Job chapter one, verse twenty-two, and I'll be reading from the New King James version. Say the same word. Word. Thank y'all so much. Verse 22 says this. And all this Job did not sin nor charge God wrongfully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. good message. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We, we, we ain't Background. We ain't laughing up. Amen. Ever more since I was talking to him yesterday, he said, You need to laugh more. Yes, sir. You need to laugh more. Let's pray. Most gracious and all wise Father, hear him again. I need you to be with me. Speak to me. Speak through me. Give me freshness and clarity of word. The word that be a blessing and strength of your people, God. Bless me mightily. Bless me abundantly, God. In the name of Jesus. Be with me, speak to me, speak Thanks. through me as I speak to this book of God. Yes. Oh, that open our hearts and uh, the mind to the people to receive your word. And the word will fall on good and further ground. God. Keep me on your obedient, submissive, and sensitive to your spirit. Keep me ever at the foot of the cross where you can give the glory and the honor and the light of me, your servant. Let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart, my words, my thoughts be your words, your thoughts. Yes, oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. These blessings I ask, in Jesus I pray, I will thank you. Amen. Amen. And all this Job did not sin nor charge God wrongfully or foolishly. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, like King James said foolishly. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to talk to you something because I'll get through this oh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. 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 with God's help. Yes. Yes. I'll get through this yes. with God's help. Yes. 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 There are a number of people who are going through some stuff yeah. that is so strong that it is affecting people's minds, mm -hmm. affecting people mentally. Yeah. Uh, I was watching the television the other day, and a young guy, by the, he was 30 years old, a golfer, mm -hmm. just won a major golf event. Six months ago, mm -hmm. this week, he committed suicide mm -hmm. because of mental pressure. Amen. Thirty year old guy kills himself because he can't take it. Going through. Mm -hmm. But I want to help us today with the Lord's help. I'll get through this yeah. with God's help. Just and he won another major event as well. Doesn't matter how well you do. Come on. Doesn't matter how well known you are. Right. Doesn't matter how much money you have. Right. You're still going through some challenges of life. Right. 
that can affect you mentally as well as physically. What do we do? Let me go through this. is a question I want to ask us. What do we do? Let me go through these challenges. I, I, I'm watching pastors who stress from pastoral work commit suicide. Who preach hope, but they lose hope. They give peace, but they lose peace. Uh, one comes to mind, the pastor sends his family all to church. And he kills himself in the driveway home. Stress, pressure of life. Yeah. Life will knock the wind out of you. Yes, I don't care how saved you are. I don't care how sanctified you are. I don't care how Holy Ghost filled you are. Your mind will mess with oh, yes. you. Yes, yes. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I'll leave it like that. Come on. <laughs> Life will not go in that out of you. And you wonder as life knocks the wind out of you, am I going to survive? Am I going to make what I'm going to make it to what I'm going through? You wonder. Yes, I love the Lord. But I'm going through it. And, 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 and I can't. I can't really bear what I'm going through. I'm praying. Hear me, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm fasting, but I'm still going through. Yes. And I still have these things on my mind. Yes. Is it ever going to leave? Oh, is it ever going to leave my mind? Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at Joe. Job did not charge God foolishness. All they went through. If you got your Bible, I need you to keep your Bible open on your, your device on me. Track with me, please, ma'am, please, sir. In his first chapter, verse 12 through 19. Job could have done a lot of stuff. The enemy affects Job's possessions mm -hmm. along with his children. Yes. But I will tell you something. He had a different mission to do it. Yes. Yes. Can I just thank you, Holy Ghost? Can I just tell y'all something? He has a different mission to make you. Yes. Although we, I'm laughing because although we don't like it, he gets permission to affect us. And I want to show you something God told to me today to help you. Yeah. Verse 12. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, look, see, all that he has, watch this, is in your power. Only do not lay your hand on his person, him. So Satan went from him and from the presence of the Lord. And watch 13. And there was a day when the sons and daughters were eating and drinking. And the elders or the oldest brothers Having a ball. Having fun. Mm -hmm. Can I go a second for a moment? Having big fun. Yeah. At the big brother's house. Mm -hmm. Having a big time. Yes. At the big brother's house. Yes. And all of a sudden, verse 14 says a messenger. I'm going I'm to I'm cut through the chase. I'm going to kind of skip some things. I'm going to be through verse by verse. I'm going to skip through some things. And the messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing, or the donkeys were plowing. Feeding beside them. And the saviors mm -hmm. raided them <laughs> and took them away. Mm -hmm. 
and he had killed all the servants with the edge of the sword. I alone have escaped the ten years. Can I tell you something? Bad news can hit you back to back. Bad news can hit you back to back. And as I said earlier, bad news back to back can knock the wind and the life out of you. And in verse 6, he said, and while he was speaking, another one came and said, fire from heaven. Mm. Fell, upon, fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I have alone, alone to escape the dead you. That's two. Three. The third time. While he was yet speaking, he had finished yet. He's going to know. <laughs> Verse 17. The Chaldeans formed. Four bands, three bands rather, and ran the camels, took them away, yes, and killed the servants with the edge of a sword. I escaped to tell you. While 18, while he was yet speaking, another one came. <laughs> Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking in the elder brother's house. Beginning of verse, verse 13, they were eating and drinking and having big fun. Big fun in the elder brother's house. Now, in 18, it was, and I just said, Sonny, a great wind from across the wilderness struck the four corners of the house. Every corner of the house, the wind struck. Let me stop a moment. You read it right now, we've seen a bunch of tornadoes. A lot of tornadoes, and they are being very destructive. I bring it up because this reminds me, this right here, four corners of the house reminds me of a tornado. And literally, it is a tornado. And it wipes out everything in the older brother's house. Yeah. Nothing's left. Mm. The Job looks at all that he loves. His children. His livestock. Everything is gone. The Job, right now, watch what I said. Right now, all they have left, lost, he does not sin nor charge God foolishly. Right now. I didn't notice that. Right now. His mind is right. Right now. But go to chapter 2. Verse 6. Verse 6. Here we go again. He had to get a Approval in verse 6 to affect Job's body. He had permission to affect Job's sons and daughters and all that he had, and now he has permission to affect Job. I want you to catch something. He doesn't, he doesn't get permission to affect Sister Job. Catch that. He gets permission to affect the kids. The last stop, mm -hmm. and now I'm here, right. but not yeah. Sister Joe. Yeah. Uh -huh. The question I want to ask the text is why does he not give a mission effect to Sister Joe? Yeah. I'll tell you a minute. I'll tell you a minute. Watch this, brothers and sisters. Verse 6. The Lord said to Jacob, said to Satan, Behold, see, he is in your hands. The Lord's talking to Satan. He is in your hands. Well, watch this. But spare his life. Right. Don't kill him. All right. Don't kill him. But affect his life. Mm -hmm. But don't kill him. <laughs> Catch this. He loses his livestock. Mm -hmm. He loses his kids. But the Lord said, don't kill him. Look at verse 7 through 10. Help me teach this, God. So Satan went from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with painful boards. 
from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. And he took for himself a pot shield with which to scrape himself, to scrape those sore wars. He's in, he's in desperate pain from the sore wars. And it's so bad, he's scraping them off now. Can you imagine that? He's scraping them off. While he sat in the midst of ashes. Here you go. This is why he didn't affect Miss Job. Because Miss Job is going to say some crazy stuff. Watch this. God allows her not to be affected physically. He allows Job to be affected physically. But he, the Satan does affect her mentally. Right. Yes, he, does. Yes, he, does. Yes, he does. He gets in her head. The Satan said, I can't God not to bother her as far as health and all that stuff, but if I can get her in her mind, I'll get her and hopefully I'll get him. God, this is good. Verse 10. Verse 9, brother. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God, Joe, baby, honey, darling, dear, sweetheart, all that baby cakes. Give all them little names, little names. Honey, bell, sugar pie. Do you still entertain your integrity? Curse God and die, sweetheart, baby, darling, dear. Curse him. Watch Job and all his going through and his feelings. His is why. And I'm going to be second for a moment, but I'm going to be biblical first. But he says to her, You speak as the foolish women speak. Shall we indeed accept good from God? And shall we not accept adversity? Mm. Oh, I read that. I read it over and over, but when I read that again, I said, wait a minute. Yes, sir. Job tells her about the good that we have, but uh -huh. we got to go through some adversity, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Look at what he said. He said, girl, sweetheart, baby, darling, we got to go through some adversity. Baby, it's the making of us. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Right. It's to make us stronger. Yes. It's to make us better. Yes. It's to make the people we're going through. And baby, we have to go through some adversity. All right. All right. Baby, we have to go through some calamities yes. to make us better. Yes. Baby, it don't feel good. It ain't good. It's not good. Right. But it's going to make us better yes. in the long run. All that live godly shall. Does it say might? It says shall. Yes. That's a yes. It's going to happen. Yes. All that live godly shall suffer persecution. Yes. We're not exempt. And to be real about it, Jesus went through it. Yes. 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 If Jesus Christ went through it, we're not exempt. At all. Now, in chapter 3, verse 1, then it gets to Job, in Job's head now. <laughs> Job, the, the pros, the even that he was even born. He regrets that he was even born. Now, it's affecting him mentally now. It's to the point where he regrets that he was even born. <clears throat> Verse 1 says this. After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. He, listen, he curses the day he was born. Birth is a happy day. It's a joyous day. But now he regrets the joyous day because of what he's going through. Mm -hmm. It's affecting him mentally. Yes. Let's drop down to chapter 6. 
And even before I go to chapter 6, I want to talk about something else here. His friend Eliphaz, chapter 4. We want to read this. Trust me, you read when you get home. In chapter 4, his friend, one of his three friends, Eliphaz, to Job has sinned. Because of his affliction, he says Job must have sinned for this to happen. Eliphaz even chastens Job. As well, because he's going through what he's going through. Watch as we keep going. Chapter 6. Job is going through this. He was going through and he was waiting. He was waiting on his mental capacity. And what he's going through is waiting, waiting on him mentally. Mm -hmm. Verses 2 and 3 in chapter 6 says this. Oh, that my grief were forty weighed, and my calamities laid with it on the scale. This is so heavy. It's, it's, he, he puts it as a metaphor as being on a scale. It's so heavy, it can be weighed in. That's how heavy my load and my burden is. All right. Verse two, 3 says this, For then it would be heavier than the sand, what's, than the sand of the seashore. Therefore, my words have been rash. I have been quick to speak. Because when we're going through, and it's going through so tough, we we'll start speaking too quick. Right. Right. Yes, yes. Can I just help us out? So help us out? Because I've done it. Yes. We speak so quick in what we're going through that we kill and delay our blessing. Right. Right. What do I mean by that? Because I go into negative mode. Yeah. I literally go into negative mode, mode because of what I'm going through and how I feel about what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. And I speak too quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it becomes a uh, a delay on my deliverance. That's right. <laughs> but then, then, then there's a shift, y'all. I ain't gonna go through all Job, y'all. I gotta skip. Let's right. just, just skip through the few days, is it? Right. But now, he's going through all that. But in chapter 13, mm -hmm. verse 15, right. watch this. He grabs hold of something. He loses all that in the other chapters. But now in chapter 13, he gravitates to something that's going to happen the rest of the way. Right. Verse 15 of chapter 13 says, Though he slay me, just the yeah. A-Boy, just the A-Boy, yeah. I just want to talk about the A-Boy. I don't want to talk about the A-Boy. I don't want to talk about the A-Boy. He says, Though he slay me, yeah. yet yeah. will I trust him. Yeah. Can I help somebody out here? Do not have a yet in your spirit. Even though I spoke too quick. Yeah. Even though I spoke too fast. Yeah. But now God is shifting some things in my life. Yeah. And though he slayed me, yeah. yet when I trust him. Yeah. Yet when I have coffee, I'm going through. Yet is a way. Yes, is a burden. Yeah. Though he slayed me. Yeah. Lisa, I'll trust him. Yeah. Yeah. Though he slayed me, yeah. I'll lean on him. Though he trust, though he said it, yet I will depend on him. It took me a while. It took me a while to get to this point. It took me a while, it took me a while, it took me a while with the name to get to this point. Because I'm going to give up. I want to give in. I want to give up. Throw in the towel. But on 13 and 15, eight points in the text. I got to keep up. And I stay like that for a moment. Though he said it, yet that I ain't going to what I'm going through. I am going to trust my God. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Have the mind of Christ. How to do it? Yes, yes. I got to pray my way through. 
I don't feel like praying. All right. Have you ever been there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I didn't feel like praying. Mm -hmm. Didn't even think about praying. Because mm -hmm. my focus on what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I like, the, I, I like the old school songs for the reason. Something to help me inside. Yeah. Tell me, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. The God that's in me. Yes. Yes. Even in what I'm going through, say, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Can I just tell you the Spirit of God will start cheering you? Yes. Start motivating you. Yes. Start energizing you. Yes. But you don't even feel like doing it. Yes. You don't feel like praying. Yes. You don't feel like praying. Yes. You don't feel like doing any of those things that will help you do stuff you want to do. Something about the Holy Ghost. Something about the Spirit of God on the inside of a true believer. It will urge you and it's for you to keep on keeping on. When you don't even feel like it. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. He receives confidence now in who he serves. Well, I'm coming home, y'all. Let's go to the end of the book. We don't went to the beginning. Kind of took the middle. And all that. But I'm going to call chapter 42. All right. Job's repentance and restoration. Job's repentance yes. and restoration. Yes. <laughs> Look at 42 and 6. And I'll wait for you. I'm in a rush. I'm probably trying to get in a rush. I want you to see this. In 42. And since watch what Job does. <laughs> mm. Now, let me go back a little bit. I told you about Eliphaz. Said he should repent. He chases Job. Build that. Tells him that he needs to get right with God. Same thing with Zophar. He urges him to get right with God. Keep in mind, Job hadn't really done that. He just had some mental breakdowns. Mental breakdowns. But look at verse number 6 of 42. <laughs> Therefore, I abhorred myself. This is Job talking about himself to God. He said, I abhor, that word abhor, but I despise myself. I literally despise myself. And repent in dust and ashes. Job had exercised presumption and allegations of unfairness against the Lord. He repents for his friends. Because they were really against God. Right, right. Catch this out. They don't repent. But he repents for them. He detests himself. He despised himself. Oh. What a freak. <laughs> and hates himself for this in a way that calls him brokenness. And contrition. Brokenness. That stuff broke Job. You go through stuff long enough and bad, bad enough, you can be broken. To the point where you don't care about who you are. And you don't care about your life. Because you're so burdened out in brokenness that you don't care about yourself. But I want you to keep going with me. Look at verse 7. And so it was after the Lord had spoken these words to Job. <laughs> and it was fast. Two friends, I'm going to skip it through. Two friends. And had to sit around. Look at this. Watch what Job does. What got Job victory? Because keep in mind, his friends criticized him. 
Be careful who you're around when you're going through. You are already weighed down. You don't need to be weighed down anymore. You need somebody to help you and pump you, kick you up and pump you up. They were all in negativity in what he's going through. Again, be careful who you hang around with who when you're going through. You need somebody to build you up. You need somebody to, to help you through what you're going through. You need somebody to pray with you and pray for you while you're going through what you're going through. Let me just cut through the chase. Here's what happened. Job begins to pray for his friends. This is what shifted Job's calamity to blessing. All right. I got to go back to 13, 15 because he changes his whole mindset shifts. Yes. Though he slay me, yet yes. will I trust in him. Yes. Yes. He despises himself. He prays for his friends. And all of a sudden, there becomes a shift. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind, in the beginning, he lost his sons and his daughters. He lost his sheep. He lost his camel. He lost his yoke of oxen. He lost everything. He was afflicted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me say this. He was afflicted for a long time. Yes. Yes. Listen to this. He was afflicted to the point where medical doctors couldn't help him out. Come on, y'all. He was afflicted to that point where he had no relief at all. But when he goes into prayer, something about prayer, y'all. Something about, something about prayer. Oh, something about prayer. He, he didn't pray for himself. He prayed for his friends. And God for to shift his calamities into victory. The Bible says, Woo, Jesus, I'm going to on this because I see the victory here. When he prayed for his friends who criticized him, who downed him and talked about him, he prays for them that God will bless them. When you watch it, when you ask God to bless somebody else, God will bless you. Yes. You will find in chapter 42, God, Job does not ask God to bless him. Right. He doesn't ask God to bless himself. Right. He prays for his friends. Yes. But when God sees what's going on in your life, mm -hmm. and when you think that God has forgotten you, mm -hmm. when you think God has, does not care about what you're going through, and does not see your tears, does not see your agony, does not see what you're going through, God says, I see. I got to get you to go through this to make you better. Mm -hmm. I got to get you to go through this to trust me even more. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, oh my goodness, Job begins to be blessed right. in a mighty and abundant way. In chapter, verse 12 in chapter 42 says, yes. now the Lord. Yes. Now yes. the Lord. Mm -hmm. I want to give myself, now the Lord. Yes. Now, meaning presently, now the yes. Lord. Yes. Woo! Bless the latter. Yes. Days of Job more than his beginning. Yes. Wait a minute. He got a whole bunch in the beginning. Amen. Can I just tell you something? He'll bless you double for your trouble. Yes, come here, somebody. Come, come here, somebody. He'll bless you double for your trouble. You think God has forgotten you? You think God has left you and abandoned you? But God will bless you double for your trouble. He blessed more in the land than he did in his beginning. Oh, yeah. Watch this. He had 14,000 sheep, mm -hmm. 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, 1,000 female donkeys. Watch this. He also had seven sons and three daughters. Woo, Jesus. Wait a minute. He blesses his children. He blesses his livestock with more. Double for his trouble. Yeah. Moves pipe with more. Oh, I said, hell, I will bless you, Joe. Yeah. I saw your pain. Yeah. I see your agony. I see what you have gone through for this long span of time. I, you won't get through this. Yeah. I'll get through this with the help of the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yes, you may go through with different mindsets going through it. The different thoughts while I'm going through it, but if you keep on keeping on yes. with the Lord and hold to God's unchanging hand and old folks and build your hopes. Yes. 
your tongue's going to face the furnace. Yeah. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yeah. Woo! Jesus. Well, here he is. Here's the right. He blesses him with everything that he lost. Right. Now, he's about to bless Job. Right. Job still have died. But God says, spare his life. Yeah. What was supposed to kill you, didn't kill you. Yeah. What was supposed to take you out, does not take you out. Verse number mm, 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 uh, 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After this, maybe after he blesses he with all these other stuff. Mm -hmm. After this, because beginning he said, now. Mm -hmm. Now, after now, this is what's gonna happen. Yes. <laughs> Job lived 140 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, wave at me, girl. Yeah, wait to the Lord. Yeah. After this, yeah, come on. can I just tell somebody right now? Ooh, I feel the push is really hell. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta tell yourself after this. Yeah. Yeah. After what I'm going through. Yeah. After what I've been going through all this time. Yeah. After this, God is about to bless me double for my children. Yeah. After this, God lived a hundred and forty years. And saw his children. Yeah. These are new children, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Saw his grandchildren. Yeah. The Bible says, and he saw four generations. Oh, four generations yeah. after yeah. this. You got all the yet. Yeah. Yeah. There is an after this. Yeah. There is an after this. Yeah. Yeah. There is a yet. Yet I will trust him. Yeah. There is a now and there is an after this. Yeah. God will open doors. God will make ways. God will deliver. God will set me. God will provide. God will do it for you. We demand do it for them. Go and do what I'm going through. Go and do what you're going through. We demand do it for them. But joy. In the morning, I don't know, you don't know when the morning will be. But the will be a morning. The will be. The will be, sir. The will be a morning. The will be a new day. The will be a new day, sir. The will be a new day. The will be a new day.
God builds our hope in you. Build up our faith in you. Can I just say something to somebody? Have you already tried it? Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Have you ever tried it? What God can do. What he does for others. And I like, I like the song. He says, surely. The song has that right. He says, surely. He says, surely. He says, surely. He says, surely. What he does for somebody else. These are people do for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What he said, I'm going to gravitate on somebody else who's being blessed by God. Uh-huh. Because God can do this with them. Talk negative to you. You need to talk, uh, have a friend 
that will walk you through it and pray with you as well as medical help as well. Amen. Amen. I know back in the day we didn't, they didn't talk about that, but now we're in a different, different time. Yes. Go see somebody. Yes. Go see somebody. Yes. Go see somebody. Yes. Get some help. Get some help. And there are there are some that's out there kind of free to y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, Amanda. Bless. Please. Let's live. Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy life. Amen. And guess what? Enjoy it abundantly. Amen. A thief comes to steal and to kill. Yes, and he's sure. But Jesus said this. But I come, you may have life. And that more, what you said, that more abundantly. Abundantly. I mean, a lot. I'm trying to laugh more. Enjoy life. Can I just tell y'all something else? Okay, I'm happy to talk to you people. Out now, then, go on a trip. Go on a trip. Just go on a trip. Just relax. Wow. 
Most gracious and all wise Father, we come to God, thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings that you have bestowed upon with your people. You are better us, we are to ourselves, wherever we are to man. God, we pray, God, you're blessed. The name has been given to us, God. We pray, God, you're blessed. Uh, George. Panky and Sister Panky. Touch and bless them in a mighty and in a way. Yes, yes. You know what their request is. You know what they're going through. God, I pray you'll meet that need. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power for them, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Bless and touch Brother Clarence Brown's knees. Yes, Who every ache, every pain, every discomfort. Touch his knees with your mighty hand of healing, God. In Jesus' name, I pray, God. Bless the joy, God. Bless and strengthen her spirit, God. Oh, God, bless her and encourage her, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. Bless her son, Jerry Morgan, God. Touch his heart, touch his mind, touch his life, God. Move mighty God upon his heart. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, I pray you touch Brother Lonnie Cowens. Touch his body with your mighty hand of healing, God. Move mighty for him, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, I pray you bless the Russell family, God. Touch and move for the Russell family, God. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And God, we pray you bless Brother Anthony, God. Touch and move mightily for Brother Anthony, God. Move in an awesome way, God. We bind the hand of the enemy, God. Move mighty, move all me for Brother Anthony, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, I pray you bless uh, Brother Dion, God. Bless him, God. Uh, you know, he says, the need of God, bless him in the body and in the body, God. Oh, God, move mighty for him, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God. I pray you bless Brother Michael. Oh, God, bless him and spread him, God. Oh, God, bless him and bless him, God. Bless him, mighty, bless him, God. Bless him, mighty, bless him, God. Bless him in the name of Jesus, we pray, God. Oh, God, bless each one that's assembled in your house this afternoon, God. Bless them name by name and one by one, God. Meet the needs of this, your people, God. God, encourage, strengthen this, your people, God, in a mighty and an abundant way, God. I pray, God, you bless the Walker family, God. God, give comfort, give strength, God. You reach where no can reach. You touch where no can touch, God. God, you do as only you can do, God. Not only that bereaved family, but bereaved families everywhere, God. Give comfort, give strength, God. You reach where no can reach, and you touch where no can touch, God. God, you do as only you can do. In Jesus' name I pray. Oh, God bless you. We are about to take the Lord's Supper, God. And we're so thankful, so grateful, God, that we're able to take the Lord's Supper one more month. Giving thanks to the praise of God. Bless you, God, to realize the significance and the importance of the Lord's table, God. Oh, God, not to take it lightly, but highly reverence and esteem the Lord's Supper, God. Have us, yes. God. These blessings we ask in Jesus' mighty also name we pray and we thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you, Lord keep you. This is our prayer. We're so grateful and so thankful that we're able to partake of the Lord's Supper one more time. It was a blessing as well as a privilege. We don't take this lightly. This is an institution of the Lord's Supper. I want to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, beginning with uh, verse number 24 uh, to uh, 26. And when they had given, when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, and saying, This cup 
It's a New Testament in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And it's all when you do it. You do it in remembrance of me. Verse 26, the last verse. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. That was very difficult. That's the now. Most gracious and all wise Father, mm -hmm. we thank you, thank you for the privilege of partaking of your body and your blood mm -hmm. to remember what you've done for us. Yes. Your suffering on Calvary's cross. Mm -hmm. We thank you, God. We ask you to change the bread from a temple use mm -hmm. to a spiritual use. The cup, the blood, from a temple use to a spiritual use. We pray you bless the cup and a mighty one of yes. for the healing and the strength of the body of God. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name.
original offering to Jasmine has been basket for the, uh, which one you got? So you missed it. Okay. All right. Yes, ma'am. Let us stand and we'll let you go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Let's go to the Lord. Most gracious and all our Father, we leave your house through our houses. Give us traveling mercies by never accident, by never mechanical problem. Dispatch your angels. We pray traveling mercies, God. I pray blessings be upon this your people, name by name and one by one. Bless this your people mighty and abundant God. Oh God, in this coming week, God, in Jesus' name. Now that him is able to keep you from falling, present you from for the presence of the only one of God Savior, the glory, message, the meaning power, both now and forever. And the people of God, some. Oh.